Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are talking equities in those E-mini S&Ps. You guessed it, higher. Uh, we had the, the Fed chair speaking yesterday about Fed policy and possibly about the, the uh, bullishness of the economy and not and overlooking perhaps the lower, lower than expected inflation and raising rates. Today, coupled with some tax reform information, more of a reality, I think, than anything else, uh, has, te has tech stocks, bank stocks, and pretty much small caps across the board uh, rallying. The E-minis make another new all-time high. It seems that every high we've made this year has been an all new, <laughs> a new all-time high. And we just continue to do so, even though we're now, uh, now at the end of September. So stocks really showing a bullish sign while we're seeing Treasury yields rise and gold sell off. Uh, it, it's really starting to culminate and will probably pick up steam as we head forward, as long as the geopolitical noise out of North Korea uh, and out of the Middle East can stay quiet. But right now, it seems that uh, stocks are on the rise. And what do you think that's done to, to volatility? Well, volatility has been uh, you know, stubbornly low and it's gotten even lower. So perhaps last week when we had this sort of these question marks over why isn't vol going up, despite the fact that we're seeing all this uh, global issues, uh, you know, whether it's in North Korea or, or the Middle East, or you're talking about yeah, what's going on politically here in the United States, it just didn't seem to resonate with equity volatility. And maybe this is why, because there was more optimism about ta tax reform getting through, more optimism about the Fed seeing the glass half full and, and possibly acting on it. And I think that, that that in itself could be telling. So right now we've got uh, market volatility is very low, the VIX index back below 10. Um, and it looks to me like now going forward, it's a clear path higher and, and the tax reform is going to be the backbone of that. We've heard about tax reform since the presidential campaign in 2016, but it's, up till now, it's been a lot of hype and the market has been buying that hype. And on, on a few moments where it wasn't so sure, we saw big sell offs in the equities. So right now, this big, big rally will continue with the idea that those that are most penalized in the stock market world, which would be the small caps, they are the ones that are going to benefit from this. Likewise, the banks are going to benefit from higher yields. And I think that right now, the tech stocks, which, which have also outperformed as part of the small cap component, will continue to do so. So I, I think that if you look at where equities are now, we, we could see uh, 25, 10 in the mini S&P is the current level. We, we could pretty much pick any level to the upside. But I think ultimately, we're going to look at raising our low, our floors. So right now, you're looking instead of uh, you know 24.75, slide that up to 24.95 is our new low. And I think that'll kind of keep the market uh, that'll keep bumping up expectations. So right now I see clear sailing ahead. The only thing that can really knock equities off would be a year end sell off based on either some kind of an unforeseen geopolitical event we haven't seen, possibly some profit taking if there's a stock, if there's a tax advantage in it. And lastly, if the economy doesn't turn or we get a Fed share that says things aren't good, as good as he, per, he or she perhaps thought they were. And we still don't know who that next Fed share will be. So still some question marks there. Hopefully President Trump will get a get us a nominee that we can uh, sink our teeth into and move forward with this. But right now, equity is clear sailing to the upside, at least until we hit our next roadblock. But that doesn't look to be anywhere in the near future. This has been Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.